More than 280,000 Ohioans are considered legally blind, and luckily for some, there are medical devices available to help them actually correct their vision. Madeline Watkins met with a local man who has a pair of glasses that does just that. Let's check in with her now in the studio here. So Madeline, you are learning. He went through a lot of leaps and bounds before he got to the position he's in today. Tim, that is absolutely correct. So aside from it being extremely expensive, getting a pair of these glasses, which is through the company eSight, it's also being legally blind, of course, comes with a long list of challenges in itself. And it's not just physically, but it's also mentally. You know, it's hard to think about Sit. everyday life when you can't see. That was Benjamin Murray's reality for 26 years. He was born three months early. I'm one pound, 10 ounces. It wasn't until he was a toddler when his parents knew something was wrong and took him to the pediatrician. I remember her saying at the age of four, I'll never forget these words. You'll never see like anybody else, you're legally blind. Now at 33, Murray says he's always been underestimated. Folks seem to think that because of my vision issue, I can't do things. Well, I proved several people wrong because of this. But it took him a while to get there. The mental side of it was just so bad that I didn't want to live anymore. I felt like I was lost inside this worthless head of mine. Murray says time and time again, he's been told no. There are things I can't do because I can't see. There are jobs I want. There are things I want to do. Even with this corrective technology, nobody wants to let me do anything that I want to desire to do. In 2015, Murray was introduced to eSight. It's electronic eyewear that corrects your vision. When he put them on for the first time, not only did it do its job. My first words were, holy smokes, I can see. It also showed him there's light at the end of the tunnel. I can, I feel free when I wear these. And yeah, with this, I have 20-20 vision currently. Murray's now on his fifth pair of eSight glasses and it hasn't been a cheap process. The first set was $15,000. He says he wouldn't have them though if it weren't for his friends, family, and even strangers rallying behind him. Now, he's wanting to return the favor. Know that there is hope and know that people, we're here to help you. I'm here to help you. Well, Murray is saying that eSight glasses are not covered through insurance. So he's actually taking it upon himself to get a petition started, hopefully getting that to change. Yeah, it's really incredible mm -hmm. what, what he's gone through and now that he's working to help others. Yeah, oh, sure. yeah, he's actually helped three others, like three of his friends that he knows through kind of going through the same issues. Um, he's helped them get a pair of these eSight glasses. So I think uh, he's just continuing his mission and helping others see just like he has. Yeah, when you first said the cost, I was thinking, oh, 1500 that's mm -hmm. kind of a lot. But it's $15,000. 15, yeah. So you can imagine how this just isn't available to a lot of people. Right, and especially since it isn't covered through insurance, he's hoping to, like I said, start that petition mm -hmm. to hopefully get it because it is a medical device, you know? So hopefully that can, that can change in the future. I think he's very determined. Yes. Mm -hmm. so stay yeah. tuned on that effort, yes. right? Yes, yes. All right, we'll be right back.